Good afternoon, DFS Army. It's Cashgate coming at you. We're going to talk a little bit of Thrive Fantasy today. <clears throat> um, this site deals with player props, which is a lot of fun. Um, and I want to talk about a new tool. I've done a couple videos with them um, talking about their contest. They got NBA, PGA, um, <clears throat> League of Legends here. And we'll look at NBA a little bit. <clears throat> it's... Um, it's very interesting, very different. You don't have to study. It's it's not as hard as, say, FanDuel or DraftKings where you have to put a lot of time and effort into pulling up, <clears throat> making lineups and whatnot. This is basically an over-under. Um, so like here, the, they have a $20 buy-in for tonight for NBA. First place is $400. Basically, they give you 20 players here, and they're usually all the great players. Um and they'll give them a set prop, and you're basically just picking over or under them, and you get points for them. You have to pick ten out of twenty, and those ten points or those ten picks you pick, if you pick correctly, you get points, and they add up, and that's how you get first place. So it's it's player props over under, um, just a, a quick, easy way to play, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I've enjoyed playing so far um, over here at Thrive Fantasy, and and but they have a new a new option we're going to talk about today. Um, like I said, here's all the 20 picks you pick. You pick through 10. Um, this is how they do it through every sport. But I really want to talk about their their new option here that they caught. And this is the contest lobby, but we'll look at this thing in the props lobby here. Um, but first, we'll talk about it here. So this is their new this is their new um, new picks in the props lobby. So you'll see a bunch of picks here when I pull it up on their site. And you're basically picking two, three, or four players um, to create your lineups for. And you have to get, like I said, two out of two. If you pick two, you get two out of two. If you get them both right, you get three three extra money. So $10 gets you 36 If you can pick four out of four, if you can find four out of the list that I'll show you, and you bet 10 bucks, that will get you 110 So it's really interesting because you, you don't have to – it's a different way of playing, you know, on Thrive Fantasy itself. Um, I really like this format. Um, you can really look through all the plays and decide which ones you like more. Um, and just whittle it down. If you just think you can, the two that are just standing out and you want to three extra money, then jump right in. Um, all you got to do is pick the correct side of it. So, again, it's a lot of fun. Um, and entry amounts from a dollar to 200 bucks. So, uh, I, it's just, yeah. Jump on in here to Thrive Fantasy, man. Prop up. It's uh, really, really cool. Again, use promo code DFS Army when you sign up today and receive an instant $20 uh, match on your first deposit. Um, and you can download Thrive Fantasy in the App Store, the Play Store, um, or just go to thrivefantasy.com um, to sign up. So let's head on over here and look at their at their props lobby real quick. So this is the props lobby tonight. Again, we talked about picking two, three, or four, four picks here, and they have all the plays that you can choose from on tonight's slate. So <clears throat> we'll go through a few here that I think would be my favorites. Again, it's a seven game NBA slate. Um, I think some, some slates are uh, like, if you notice on the contest lobby for the over under, you get so many points for picking the over under. So like Sir Elf Payton is 11 and a half points, right? So in the regular contest lobby on Thrive Fantasy, the over might give you, say, 110 points, and the under might give you 90. So you're just trying to get the most points. Here, it doesn't matter. You just have to get this correct. So we'll just go down and talk about a few of these picks here. Elf Payton, love this. Pace up matchup at home against Houston, 11.5 points. I would pick the over there. I think I think that's fantastic. Um, James Harden, 44.5 points for points, rebounds, and assists. I actually like West. I, mean, I actually like Harden better than Westbrook tonight. I think you could play either one of them, but that would be an overpick for me. But once you get points, um, rebounds, and assists that high, um, it's really hard. There's not a lot of uh, margin for error there. So probably wouldn't be one I would pick on this site, but I do like the over. <clears throat> Rob Covington, 20 and a half points, points, rebounds, and assists. This is another one where he's been pretty stinking consistent um, since he's been over to, to Houston here. Um, you know, he put up just against Boston last game, 16 points, 16 rebounds. That would have gave you, uh, 
32, and I think he had he had no assists. So the assist game ain't going to be there. You're going to rely on points and rebounds. Um, the game before that in Memphis, he had 10 points, six rebounds, one assist. So that puts you at 17. And last time he played New York, he had 11 points, seven rebounds, and one assist. <clears throat> and that puts you right at 19. So that's a pretty good number for him. Um, I still think in this matchup I'd, I'd click the over, but that, that's a pretty good line. So I'm not sure I would jump on that. Um, R.J. Barrett, 24 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. This is a, a pretty good matchup for, for R.J. Um, I don't really like the point side of it, but he does get a little bit of everything. And the last time he played um, Houston, he did put up 21 points, three assists, and six rebounds. Because this is a pace up, I would pick the over on that one. Um, I do kind of like that. Hassan Whiteside, 17 and a half points. <clears throat> now, he's expensive on, on FanDuel and DraftKings. But over here, you don't really care about that. You don't care about the price. You're just trying to pick what he's going to do with points-wise. Um, and he's been playing a lot more minutes. <clears throat> and this is a pretty good line on him on 17 and a half. His last three games, he's put up 21, 18, 18. Um, and before that, he had 16 and 19. So he's right there. It's a really good line. Um, that's a tough one. I, I would probably lean the under on this. Um, but that's that's a really, really tough line to look at. Um, Vucevic assists, three and a half. I'd probably be on the under of that one. <clears throat> Carmelo Anthony, 18 and a half points and assists. Uh, he's been getting a ton of minutes. A great matchup here <clears throat> going up against Orlando. Um, you know, he put out, he don't get a ton of assists because he's a shooter, right? So that line's a little high at 18 and a half because you're going to need the points from him. His assists the last three games, 2-1-1-1. I mean, he's just not going to get done with assists, so you're looking more at points. And 18 and a half is pretty high. He's put up 12, 12, 14, and then he had that big outing in, in Detroit where he put up 32. Uh, I think I would be a little bit on the under of this because you're really, really trying to get points here. And it's C.J. McCollum show, so I, I actually really like the under on this on, on Carmelo. Um, C.J. McCollum, 32 and a half. Again, no Dame Lillard here, so we're going to see all the McCollum that we can possibly handle. Now, this is for um, 32 and a half points and rebounds. So <clears throat> he's put up just points alone in his last three games, 35, 28, 28, um, and rebounds 5, 3, and 4. Uh, this line is, again, pretty good, but I still would lean the over here um, against Orlando. I think this is kind of a sneaky shootout kind of game. Uh, Portland has 107 applied team total. They're, they're seven-point dogs here. But I do like the over a tad on that one. But it, it is a really good line. <clears throat> Trevor Reza, 15 and a half total points and rebounds. He's another guy that's been getting a lot of run, but he hasn't been doing a ton with it. So I have a hard time thinking that it's – I really like that line, 15 and a half. I'd probably lean the under um, just because it, there's a lot of ways that if, – if I think Bellow's going to get there – then Ariza won't and vice versa. But just just nothing that I really love. Aaron Gordon, man, talking about somebody who's been absolutely on fire. <clears throat> Aaron Gordon, he had a bad game uh, against the Spurs, and we kind of talked about it. And this line is sitting at 26.5 for points and rebounds. And against the Spurs, again, we kind of said that was kind of a trap game for him. He put up. Only seven points and six rebounds, which have been 13. So it's been way under that. For 26 and a half, um, the game before that, he put up 17 points, 11 rebounds. That'd be 28. And the game before that against Atlanta, he put up 25 and 10. Um, this Portland team is just not good defensively right now. So I think he can easily hit this. Oh, I mean, he's just been on fire lately. He's playing massive minutes. Uh, 35, 41, 40, 41, 34, 42. The minutes are just massive. I, I would lean the over there on 26 and a half. Uh, Jordan Clarkson going up against his old team back in Cleveland, 15 and a half points. This was kind of a sneaky pick for me and in, 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 uh, regular DFS and, and not over here at Thrive Fantasy. But that's where we can use this as well. I think he's a sneaky pick. Points-wise, he's put up 29, 14, and 22 in his last four. I love this spot. Uh, going up against Cleveland here, they just get smashed against the guards. Um, someone that I have no problem. I think 15 and a half, uh, I do like the over on that one. 
Um, Bogdanovich rebounds over three and a half. Uh, that's just one I would skip. I wouldn't play that one at all. Um, Gobert, 13 and a half rebounds. Man, Rudy's been um, kind of all over the place. He's going up against Drum Dog, and Drummond likes to rebound. He's always around the rim. Um, I would lean the under on this on rebounds. You know, he's only had nine, nine, eight, and six his last four games. And Drummond's going to try to eat up them rebounds on the other side. I would just, I really like the under on this one. Just He just hasn't been playing great ball. Um, so, yeah, I would lean the under on, on, on Gobert. And it'd be one of my favorite picks here. Donovan Mitchell, 29 and a half points and assists. Again, great matchup against Cleveland. Um, I wouldn't pick, if you're going to say do the Clarkson one or do the Mitchell, I would not play both of them because I think Clarkson's going to get there if Mitchell struggles a little bit. But again, fantastic matchup. Uh, if we look at his last few games, again, he's at 29 and a half points and assists. <clears throat> he's put up 30, 37, 38, and 31 just in points itself with three, five, four, three assists. So if you think he's going to keep it going against Cleveland, that's an easy over. Um, and they should be able to do whatever they want against Cleveland right now. So <clears throat> again, no problem with the over there. Drummond, 19 and a half total points and assists. Um, with Tristan Thompson out, Drummond's going to have to play big minutes again. So <clears throat> we could see up to 35 minutes again. He played that against Indy, which is kind of a tough matchup. And he did put up 27 points and 13 rebounds, which have been 40. And this is only sitting at 19. I'm sorry, points and assists. He put up 27 points and four assists. Um, that'd be 31. And this is sitting at 19 and a half. The assists, I don't think, are always going to be there. He's always been a guy that gets two or three, four assists. But the points are where he's going to have to get it. And, again, Gobert is going to be in that lane as well. That's a tough one. I would lean the over, but that's a real that's a real tough one because this could go either way, in my opinion, um, going up against uh, Utah here. Um, let's head down here and look at John Collins. This is a game you want to – it's going to be fantastic with – you can stack it up here. 22.5 total points from John Collins. That seems a little high, even though this is a game that's got a massive – um, over under it's it's sitting at a 241 and a half over under you're gonna want some of this game he's put up 24 33 26 and 21 points so actually it's probably a decent over here um in, in a matchup that should be really up and down it's two of the fastest paced teams in the league um again i would lean the over there and then again same same game here in these last next couple picks trey young over 10 and a half assists Again, this is a game that's going to get up and down. He should have a lot of chances for assists here. Um, he's put up 15, 14, 11, 10, 10. In his last five games, he's had double-digit assists. And we're sitting here at 10 and a half. That's a really solid line. Um, but I would lean the over there just with this game environment and how how uh, how much of a track meet it really should be. Um, John Morant. <clears throat> If he's going to keep playing minutes like he has been last couple of games, 33-35, then I would lean the over on this 32.5 points, rebounds, assists. Um, he's been playing really well. Again, it gets a great matchup. Um, I would lean the over there. Jovell, 31.5. Again, this game, if it, since I did a podcast this morning, it, the, the total has climbed. And it was already insane. I think all these I would lean over, to be honest with you. Jovell, Herter, um, if I had to pick one here for me, it would probably be um, – I would go with the guards and Morant and Young, but I would lean the over on all of those guys. Uh, Jimmy Butler, 20 and a half points. I'd go the under there. That's a tough matchup against Milwaukee. Even if Middleton doesn't play, um, I just think that's a tough matchup. I don't, I don't think I would go over on the Butler game. Um, Kendrick Nunn, over 15 and a half points. Again, tough matchup. That's kind of low for him. Uh, if we go look at what he's done over his last, you know, with no hero there, but we still got Drogic. He's put up 21, 16, 24 fantasy points his last three. I'm sorry, um, points, just regular points. Um, and if he's sitting at over 15 and a half, you know, he'd easily score that. So, again, tough matchup, but that's still a really low line. So, that might lean the over there. Um, points and assists, bam, 20 and a half. Again, this is a tough, tough matchup here. Um, and with Butler back, I don't really love 
Bam. So I would I would lean the under there. Drogic, 19 and a half total points and rebounds. I like the over on this one. He comes off the bench in that second unit. Um, you know, we've seen <clears throat> we've seen him get 32 minutes of run the last two games. Um, he's put up 19 and 16 points. And we're talking about 19 and a half points and rebounds. He's also put up three and four rebounds. So he would have been over in the last five games. He would have been, he would have hit that that over in all five of those. Again, tough matchup against Milwaukee, but coming off the bench, I think it will, it will help him. It will go up a lot against George Hill, which is a good defender. Um, I just think he can get there. Uh, Zach Levine, uh, four and a half assists. That's a tough line as well. You know, he's more of a shooter than a scorer. So not someone that I really want to target a ton. Um, I'll, I'll lean the under there. You know, there's times where he can he can get some assist. He had seven last game, but then he had four, three, and five before that. To me, that, that line is a little bit inflated, and I would go under on that. Uh, Thomas Sadoransky, 17 and a half points and assist. Uh I think Doncic's going to – Luka's going to play, and I, I have a feeling that Porzingis is going to sit here. So Sato here, 17 and a half. That seems awfully high. Um, he's put up six points. Um, and we're talking points and assists. Six points and seven assists, that's 13. Um, the game for that, he put up 10 points and seven assists. That would be 17. And then the game for that, but that was Washington. We put 15 and 13, ain't counting that. I would lean the under here. I don't – I don't think he hits it, and I think that line is a little inflated. I think it should be more around 14 and a half. So that would be an under for, for Sadoransky here. Um, <clears throat> Forbes, 10 and a half points. I'll lean the under there. Um, Trey Lyles, over. If I was going to pick one smash button pick here with all the guys that are out, um, Lyles, this would be an easy over for me. We have LMA is out, or doubtful. He ain't going to play. Pirtle is out. Lyles is going to play 30-plus minutes here. Um, he put up 20 points in um, 40, 39 minutes against Orlando the other day when Pirtle got hurt. I think we're going to see similar. Um, I think we're going to see more around maybe 15, 16 points, but but that's way too low at nine and a half. That's an easy over. If I was going to pick one play out of all these that I like, it's that one. Miles Turner, seven and a half rebounds against the Spurs. You know, I have a hard time picking Turner. I have a hard time getting him right, especially with Sabonis there. Just because, you know, Sabonis steals a lot of a lot of his stats. Um, now he does have double digit rebounds in three in the last three games, 10, 10, 10. and this is sitting at seven and a half. Um, I would go the over here because the Spurs are really hurting in the front court, like we talked about with LMA and Pirtle out, and they're going to be really really short handed. So I do like that. Throws in five and a half sit, uh, assists. Again, he's going to have to be the facilitator, the scorer, everything here with LMA out. This line is at two. It's got Indy favorite at two. The Spurs are uh, the Spurs are at home. And, you know, he's had nine assists the last two games, and LMA's been out, though. So I would lean the over here. It's another I th- It's another pick I think you could – would be another one of my favorite picks here um, out of all these that we went through. TJ Warren, points and rebounds. I would pick the over. I don't have a great lean on this one, but it'd probably be the over here. And DeJounte Murray, 18 and a half. Um, I don't like the guard. I don't really don't like Murray against um against Indy here. So I would lean the under on that one. But two of my favorite picks come from this game, the Spurs game. Lyles and DeRozan. Lyles would be in almost every one of these I would make in the props lobby. Um and again, we'll come back over here. And again, you out of the whole list that I picked out. You can pick two, three, four. Your decision, how many you want to pick. And they have entry amounts from a dollar up to 200. So this example right here, if you bet $10, you get 36. So if you bet 100, you can get 360. Um, you know, if you think you can get four of them right, bet 100 and win over 1,000. So very interesting. And, and again, you don't have to sit there and build lineups. It's another way to, to make some money. I really like it. Again, use promo code DFS Army when you sign up. Um, receive that instant match up to $20 for your first deposit. And you can download this Thrive Fantasy app at the Google Store. I'm sorry, <clears throat> at the App Store or the Play Store. Um, or just go to thrivefantasy.com where I was at here showing you where these picks are at. Again, it's a really, really neat site. 
Um, they have regular contests. We talked about the points that I went through in a couple other videos that talk about, you know, you're basically going over under like we did in these for the props lobby. Um, I kind of like this props lobby a little bit more than the regular contest because it just gives you a little bit more. You don't have to pick 10 out of 20 and, and, and try to get those points, even though I think it's great and it's a little bit different. Um, but just be, you only have to pick two picks here and you can almost triple your money. That's just unheard of. And I can give you two here. I love, I mean, if you want to put two in, it'd be Lyles and DeRozan for me. If I had to pick two out of this whole list, it'd be those two. Um, and again, come over and try it, man. It, it takes two seconds to come in here, sign up. They got NBA, they got esports, um, they got PGA baseball's coming. They're going to have baseball as well. So, uh, yeah, come prop up at fantasy thrive fantasy and uh let's start smashing these man uh, awesome awesome slate and again two of my favorite picks go the over on miles nine and a half total points and go over on DeRozan five and a half assists that'll do it um again check us out over here at thrive fantasy and i'll see you over at dfsarmy.com appreciate you guys deuces